Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community driven trading education. Hey everyone, checking in on Yelp, GWPH, PCLN, NVDA, and Tesla on the daily and weekly time frame. So Yelp has earnings tomorrow, definitely going to be very significant in the short term. We're either going to see a move up to 38.42, and then we would be looking up to the $40 range from there, or it's going to be a bearish reaction and we're heading right back down to 31.61 and 31.60, our double bottom. So it's going to indicate where we currently stand. We're trading sideways. It's going to indicate the short-term direction. It's either going, to, either going to give the bulls the momentum to get over this weekly middle Bollinger Band resistance, or we are going to reject from it and head right back to our lows. 32 psychological is a must-hold support level. It has held back in October and now again in this recent test here back in March and April and we need to see that level hold otherwise it is a technically significant bearish development go or GWPH continues to dump increase in bear volume bears in full control biotech sector was hit hard today and GWPH is not immune to that so we're coming up on must hold support of 10710 and if that level breaks it is a significantly bearish development longer term after 10710 we're looking at 100 psychological and then down to 9643 that would be the lowest price we have seen in about eight months so it's very significant to be watching that level we will be looking for a potential bottom fishing playoff of that level with the daily chart just getting oversold right now but want to be a little bit more confident that that level can hold if i was going to make a bottom fishing entry off of it Checking in on PCLN, bearish candlestick, bearish reversal candlestick. The past two days have hit all-time highs, but both days have seen profit taking from those highs, giving us an indication that we're likely to see some short-term consolidation, especially with SPY hitting to higher highs the past two days and PCLN consolidating a bit. So we're looking down at 1896 support and then down to 1871. So there is some decent downside potential, but personally, I don't trade against blue sky breakout bulls unless I'm doing a little day trade scalp. Other than that, I'm not going to be fighting the trend. So we'll be looking for normal healthy consolidation and looking for the bulls to show back up. Just one trading day this week, that candlestick on the weekly time frame, not really giving us much information. We need to see how the next couple of days goes before we look for the shape of the candlestick on the weekly time frame to be an indication of what to expect. NVDA on the daily time frame, bearish day today and a close just below the 50 day after the 50 day had held three of the last four days. So an increase in bear volume, a loss of that support level, and we are looking down now at the middle Bollinger Band of 101.82 and there's a gap to fill at 101.79. That's our short term target now that we broke this support and we are looking for a potential descending triangle pattern with a horizontal base of support here in the 105s and a lower high pattern you can see it more clearly on the weekly time frame a horizontal line of support we have our all-time high lower high and this is a potential lower high again and if we head the, down towards that gap fill at 101.79 we will then be looking down into the mid 90 dollar range so the bears are reaffirming some control here in the short term and look at this volume spikes we've had a steady volume and the two volume spikes that we have seen do belong to the bears so looking at Tesla on the daily time frame, as anticipated in the video yesterday, we were looking for a lower high to be set. I set a target of potentially 115. We pulled back a dollar and 21 cents shy from that, but our lower high is set now. In my opinion, we have our high, low the pullback, lower high on the bounce, and we'll be looking to form a higher low compared to 290.76. So that's the tightening equilibrium pattern after the volatility and volume after the earnings reaction that we see so often, and we're going to be watching for that to continue to play out. The weekly time frame was a big wide range, bearish reversal spinning top yesterday or last week, and we will look to stay within that range, likely forming an inside candlestick this week as the daily chart continues to tighten. And that's what CMG is doing. Check out the CMG video that I do. The daily chart is doing the same equilibrium pattern and the weekly chart is already forming its inside candlestick, its inside bar last week. And we're looking to break it this week. So that's what we've got heading into tomorrow. Yelp earnings will be on watch. GWPH all bear control. PCLN short-term healthy consolidation. NVDA breaking a couple key supports. Bears close to taking over. And Tesla equilibrium pattern likely. I appreciate you watching. We'll continue to check back in as always. And we'll see you tomorrow.